Right about now, another small town Texas barbecue production. I was headed west a few weeks ago out to Marfa, Alpine, and I uh, got some great advice and went out to the Brick Vault Brewery and Barbecue in Marathon. I am out in Marathon. Food, um, hopefully, is going to be really amazing. I know that uh, it does come highly recommended by the best barbecue podcast. So, Yoni, thank you. Um, I look forward to uh, tasting some of this. I think they're going to get me some early. It's always good to uh, talk to some folks back in the back because they can kind of uh, help you out. So, excited about that. And I look forward to letting you guys know about the barbecue here at Brick Vault Brewery and Barbecue in Marathon, Texas. Have a great day. Here we see the front of the business, and uh, it was an overcast uh, day. I was there a little early, right before lunch service was supposed to start. And uh, Nick Reese was so kind as to let me come in uh, even before they started. And um, really great hospitality invited me back there to look at the pit room and see everything. And I got a good look of the uh, front of the business. As you can see, they've got quite a bit of seating there. and. In other pictures on the web, I see it really packed with lots of folks and many, many people like to travel uh, this highway and come out here and eat and take advantage of the great art scene out in Marfa and other places here. So great place to stop and eat some barbecue and grab a drink. And uh, here's the back of the business. Got some stacks of the uh, oak that they use to uh, smoke the uh, barbecue there at the uh, Brick Vault Brewery and Barbecue. And uh, just another quick look of, at that. The uh, pit room is over to the left and uh, all enclosed. And here is the infamous Brick Vault. This is what the whole place is named after, and it's been there forever since the 1800s. And uh, they are going to eventually do something with that as far as the barbecue is concerned, but really an interesting showpiece right there on the property. And here we have uh, Primitive Pits uh, from out in Georgia, one of the uh, pits that they built. Really interesting looking and uh, love to see that there. And we've also got some uh, locally made uh, smokers in that smoke room that uh, Nick and Elliot Reese uh, are using. They uh, came from Austin all the way out to Marathon to uh, start their own place. They're working with another uh, gentleman there in Marathon. And then uh, they've even got the uh, mill scale uh, smoker there. Uh, shout out to them. Great stuff. Love the looks and the construction on those. And uh, then we've got the uh, interior of the building right here is where you'd order. And uh, you get a quick look uh, over at the bar and some of the seating area that they've got there. And once again, the menu. Got some great brisket, pork spare ribs, house-made sausage. Uh, they've got original or the jalapeno cheddar. I did not get to have any that time, so I'll have to go back for sure, which is not going to be a problem for me. But I also have some pulled pork, turkey breast, and some cool sandwiches along with their sides, uh, the green cabbage slaw, green chili mac and cheese, barracho pinto beans, traditional potato salad, and the skillet green beans, along with the cool special brisket Frito pie for 8 bucks. And uh, they had some peach cobbler that day and uh, loved the iced tea there that they had. Really, really good stuff. And uh, here we see the bar. Uh, they have made it a point to make uh, beers that they brew that go uh, and pair well with the uh, barbecue that they serve. So uh, beef is really, really a big part of uh, Texas barbecue. So it's very imperative that they have something that goes well. And, Here's a drink station with some water and some tea. They've got uh, all the necessities there. If you like to eat barbecue with a fork, they've got everything there. And a lot of us just dive in with our fingers. And here we go. The Great Texas Lone Star with the lettering around that. thought that was a cool piece of decor right uh, close to the ordering station. Love that. And it's all framed up. And then we've got a Gulf Oil sign along with a couple of tables there with some uh, comfortable seating right there padded uh, with silver cushions and a television over to the left but a uh, great place and then we've got a shuffleboard uh, game over here to the left as you go out towards the back where the pit room is uh, great uh, lighting in there and I love the color scheme of this place and here finally we've come to the uh, barbecue 
As you can see, they've got some potato bread there along with the uh, pork spares, uh, the beautiful brisket that they uh, make, and some turkey along with the coleslaw and potato salad. Both creamy options, very tasty and very well balanced as everything on the platter is. Also had some pickled jalapenos there, pickled red onions, and uh, just some plain uh, pickled cucumbers right on the platter. As you can see, the texture is beautiful. You've got some great pepper right there on those ribs that you can see and just oozing with juice. Amazing stuff and uh, everything here was perfectly cooked, perfectly balanced. And uh, what I was mentioning to Nick was the fact that the brisket and the ribs and the turkey, the meats were as consistent as Franklin's. Uh, that brisket is, is, if you put them on two platters next to each other, you might not know the difference unless you've eaten at both a, a bunch of times. But uh, these, uh, these ribs, really, really amazing. Again, the texture, the bite through on these is really great. Love the color, uh, love that smoke ring there. And uh, just all of that pepper and all of the flavor that's there, really, really tasty and enjoyed that thoroughly. Had a great, great time. Had to take some home with me because it was quite a bit of food, but I really, really liked it a lot. And then this creamy potato salad made with the uh, red potatoes, I believe, and uh, had some of the skins in it. And uh, very creamy, not overstated, not too much mustard. And then again, creamy, creamy coleslaw, very tasty. Everything that was there was great. Love the colors and the textures of the sides that they had to offer. And I think I'm really going to have to get back and try some of the other sides that they had as I didn't get everything, but wanted to get all that out there. So get out to Brick Vault Brewery and Barbecue out in Marathon, Texas. Get a taste of everything that they've got there. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, Small Town Texas Barbecue. Have a great day.